Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing all of you how to check your students' progress in their digital notebooks. Now, this is a question that a lot of my subscribers have been reaching out and asking me, um, you know, and it really depends on how they're going to be using uh, the digital notebooks. So some teachers have decided that they want to use them and include an entire year's worth of curriculum in them. Um, I, I don't usually recommend that only because it makes the file way too large and the bandwidth that's needed to, you know, really like have them function properly um, for students is going to be too much. Uh, I really recommend kind of doing it on a unit by unit basis or a week by week basis. Uh, you can, you know, easily make copies of these so it's not like you're creating them from scratch. Uh, however, while the students are working on whatever activities you have put in their digital notebooks, it is really super easy before they submit them for you to check on their progress and make sure that they're staying on track. And this is how you do it. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your drive. Now, when you have Google Classroom and you have assigned a new activity project, whatever for your students, okay, Google Classroom automatically puts a folder into your drive. Okay, so here it says Classroom. Okay, I'm going to click on my classroom folder, that's Google Class and my practice class. Okay, this is like my dummy class that I use. Um, here are all of the assignments that I have posted in there, for examples, during other videos that I've done. Okay, but most recently I posted here a digital notebook for World War II. So that's an example, okay? So if I had an entire unit on World War II, um, that's where this would pop up, okay? From here, once you click into that assignment, the work of all of your students. So if I had 15 students in the classroom, 15 notebooks would pop up here. And you see here, uh, it says Rosalie Marie. Okay, so that's my daughter's account that I use as a student that I, when I want to go in and kind of see how um, an activity will look that I post, I'm not really sure how they're going to be able to um, access it or what functions they're going to have. That's how I check that. Okay, so here I can go into her notebook. Okay, and this wasn't submitted. It was just something that she's supposedly have been worked on. Um, and then you can go to any of the pages. Obviously, this isn't a true assignment, so there's nothing typed here. But I can go in and I can see everything that she's done and keep tabs on, um, you know, what kind of progress that she's making with this, with this assignment. So that is how you do it. If you have questions, comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And click that little notification bell so that you don't miss my future videos. Take care, guys.